the late 19th century, the lights of the city drew Americans in droves, leaving the agricultural or craft work that had brought self-sufficiency for city jobs that paid them in cash. When we talk about a consumer culture, we're literally talking about a culture in which people buy things rather than making them. Processed foods, first breakfast cereals, canned foods, those sorts of things. But there were also all kinds of new products, flashlights or phonographs, that nobody had ever seen before. At the core of a consumer culture, is the notion that needs are infinite, that they are changeable. For a consumer culture to exist, we have to want more. By the 1890s, you've got a group of people who are beginning to say, what we demand is a living wage. We want to be able to buy for our families what it takes to participate in the American culture. And so they are essentially defining what it means to be a man now, not in terms of owning your own business anymore, but in terms of being able to provide for your family within a consumer culture.